finite math. In this video, we're going to do an introduction to matrices. What is a matrix? What is an augmented matrix? Operations on matrices? And, and finally, we're going to use symbollab.com for all of our matrices. As you watch the video, on the top left, you're going to see some icons. First, we're going to talk about the process, some examples, practice you get to do, and finally, what you need to do to be really good at matrices. Remember, it's not magic, it's math. So let's get started. A matrix is just another way to solve systems of equations. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers written within brackets. The subscripts give the row and column address of each entry in the matrix. An array is simply an arrangement of objects, pictures, or numbers in columns and rows. This is an example of a matrix. Just to review for a moment, this is a row and this is a column. Let's look at the different pieces of a matrix. Let's look at element A11. The first one tells us it's in row 1 and the second row tells us it's column 1. Each piece is called an element. Whenever we talk about a matrix, we always say a number by a number. The first number is the row, and the second number is the column. So we would say this is a 3x3 three three matrix, because there are three rows and three columns. Alright, I want you to pause the video for a minute and tell me, what are these matrices by writing as a row by a column? Just like we talked about the last one was a 3x3. Three three. Alright, let's look at the first one. The first one is actually a 1x5 because there's one row and five columns. The next one is actually a four by one because there's four rows and one column. The last one is a four by four because there are four rows and four columns. Let's talk about an augmented matrix. Before we can solve systems of equations, we need to change our system into a matrix. And it's actually really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to take the coefficients for the x's, the coefficients for the y's, and finally just our answer number. So the coefficient for x is 1, the coefficient for y is 3, and then we have 5. The coefficient for the second equation is 2, negative 1, and 3. And that is our augmented matrix. But before we can solve the system, we need to understand matrix operations. So in this video, we're not going to be solving systems, we're just going to be talking about their operations. First, let's talk about adding and subtracting. These are super easy. You're going to find this crazy. All you do is you're going to take matrix A plus matrix B. And all we have to do is add the corresponding elements. So we're going to take 6 plus 4, negative 3 plus 2, negative 5 plus negative 1, and finally 1 plus 7. Now when we do that, we end up with 10, negative 1, negative 14, and 8. And guess what? Subtraction's exactly the same, except now we're going to subtract. One thing you really have to be careful about is when you look at what you're subtracting. The first one, we took A plus B. But now in this one, we're taking matrix B minus A. And order does matter. Now we're going to subtract the corresponding entries. 2 minus negative 6, 7 minus 3, negative 4 minus negative 8, and then 5 minus 2. And we end up with 8, 4, 4, 3. You're going to notice that all of these matrices are exactly the same. They're 2 by 2. When you're adding and subtracting, the two matrices have to be exactly the same. If you do a 3x3, three three, all of the matrices have to be 3x3 three three to add or subtract. If you're doing 4x4, four four, all the matrices have to be 4x4 four four to add or subtract. Let's look at these. We're going to add the first two matrices. And when we do that, we just add the corresponding numbers. So 4 plus 3, negative 6 plus 9, and so on. And that'll give us 7, 3, 1, negative 5, 14, and 8. Remember, you can pause the video at any time. You can even rewind it if you like. Now we're going to subtract the matrices. 
So the first element is 2 minus negative 9, and then minus 6, minus 2, and so on. When we subtract these matrices, we end up with 11, negative 8, 1, negative 5, negative 7, and 10. We just talked about adding and subtracting. Let's look at something called a scalar multiplication. Basically, a scalar multiplication is we take any number times a matrix. So for this one, we're going to find negative 1 times A, where your matrix A is 4, negative 1, 9, negative 6, 3, 0. And like I said, all we're going to do is we're going to take negative 1 times everything inside the matrix, times every element. And what's that going to look like? Well, negative 1 times 4, negative 1 times negative 1, negative 1 times 9, and then negative 1 times negative 6, negative 1 times 3, and negative 1 times 0. When we do that, we end up with negative 4, 1, negative 9, 6, negative 3, 0. A scalar multiplication can be any number. That means we can multiply a decimal times a matrix or a fraction times a matrix. It really doesn't matter. And yes, we can have decimals as elements of our matrix. We can also have fractions for elements of our matrix. Now that we've added and subtracted, let's look at multiplying. When we multiply matrices, the row of the first matrix must be the same as the column of the second matrix. Let's multiply these two. What we have to do is we actually multiply and then add. So we're going to take 1 times 5 plus, 2 times 6 plus, 3 times 7 plus, 4 times 8. And when we add that all up, we end up with 70. I'm going to give you a minute to try this one. So pause the video, do it, and then press play, and we'll work it together. Okay, let's see how you did. We'll take 3 times 9 plus negative 1 times negative 3 plus 2 times 5 plus 5 times 4, and that gives us 60. Great. Let's go to symbollab.com to do the rest of the video. Let's do operations on matrices. So let me show you how to do this on Symbol Lab. All right, we're going to do A. We're going to add these two matrices. We could do it one of two ways. When I look at my toolbar, you're going to notice I have a matrix. Now these are 3 by 2, so I could press 3 by 2 and put the numbers in, or I can actually press right here and create our own matrix. Now this one is... 2 by 3. And we have the same. I'm going to put 1 tab, negative 8, tab, negative 2, tab 6, tab 4, tab 9, over arrow, plus, and we're going to do the next one, 2 by 3, and we have 0, tab 3, tab 7, tab negative 1, tab 9, tab 5, okay. And we're going to say go. Go gets us our answer. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit, and here we are. This is our answer. 1, negative 5, 5, 5, 13, 14. All right, I'm going to bring this whole thing up. Okay, let's do this one. Now, for this one, you're going to notice I have a scalar times my matrix minus a scalar times the next matrix. So let's do that in symbol lab. I'm going to take my scalar, which is 6, and then we have the same. 3 by 2, so 1, tab, negative 8, tab, negative 2, tab, 6, tab, 4, tab, 9, over arrow, we're going to subtract, now my scalar is 9, and I'm going to pick my 2 by 3 again, and this one is 0, 3, 7, negative 1, 9, 5, all right, and we just say go, and here's our answer. 6, negative 75, negative 75, 45, negative 57, and 9. That is the answer. Let's look at C. The last one, C, we're going to multiply. So let's go to Symbol Lab, and I'm going to have a 2 by 3. It's the same one we've been using, and now we're going to multiply. And the next one is a 3 by 2, and we're going to do go. Okay, and this is our answer. If we go down a little bit more, you can see that Symbol Lab was really cool about it. They actually did the whole thing. So 1 times 0 plus negative 8 times 1, 
the negative 2 times 0 plus 6. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, this is our answer. Let's go back to Symbol Lab for a moment. So let's try this. I'm going to do 4 by 4. Let's do a 4 by 4. And I'm just going to put some random numbers in. And we're going to say go. Now you're going to notice that it says incorrect dimensions because, remember, for this one, the rows and columns do not match. So this one is a 2 by 3, and this one's a 4 by 4, and so they absolutely do not match. So that's why they say incorrect dimensions. That means you can't do it. All right, I'm going to have you try this one. So for the first one, I want you to do 3 times BA minus B. Pause the video, do it, and then we're going to see how you did. Use Symbol Lab, and then we're going to do B. Okay, so pause, do it, and let's see how you did. All right, let's look at the first one. So we have the scalar 3, and we're going to multiply by B. Okay. Go to our matrix, and it is a 2 by 3. So let's put our numbers in over arrow. Now we're multiplying by A. So we could put the dot for multiplier, just multiply over arrow minus b. All right, so we have to do it again. And we're going to hit go. And hopefully this is the answer that you have. 44, 151, negative 9, 189, 21, 204. Cool. All right, you get to try this one. So pause the video, use Symbol Lab, and then press play to check. All right, let's try this one. So we're going to have a 3 is our scalar and we're going to put in B 2 by 3 over arrow times I'm going to put the multiply in there I'm going to go to basic and here's our multiply and then 2 is our scalar and then we have to do our matrix which is a 3 by 2 and go and hopefully this is what you have 150, 318, 66, 0, 432, 54, 90, 450, and 72. Great. All right, we're here at the self quiz. You're going to pause the video, complete the questions or question, and then press play to check your answers. This question asks you to find 3 times BA plus 4 times AC, and I recommend using Symbol Lab. All right, pause the video, do it, and then press play, and we'll work it together. All right, let's see how you did. So we have the scalar times B over arrow. I am going to put my multiplication in there. I don't think I have to, but I'm a little worried. I don't want to do all this work, and it doesn't work, right? And then we're going to put A, which is a 2 by 3 over arrow plus 4, which is our scalar, and A again over arrow times, I'm going to go to basic, click the basic here, All right. and then go to my matrix, and we're doing C, and C is a 3 by 3. All right, okay, hopefully we put this in correctly. If you do this and you don't have a correct answer, chances are you put in a wrong number, and that's what I do all the time. I look and I go, wait, what? So we have 13, 3, negative 14, 3, 9, 0. And look at that. We got it right. Cool. What do you need to do to get good at this? Well, you need to practice, 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 practice. And even if your teacher says that your homework is not part of your grade, well, you still need to do it. Did you like the video? Why not like it? Did you really like it? How about you subscribe? Did it help you? Why don't you share it? Remember, it's not magic, it's math.